you're selling every day but not actually making any sales, here's how to flip the switch and get tons of sales really fast. And this is especially effective if you use sales calls or enrollment calls to actually close your customers or your clients. See, everyone thinks it's all about saying the right thing. Like, what do I say to them to get them to want to buy something from me? But it's not at all about you saying the right thing. It's about you asking the right questions. See, a really skilled salesperson knows that making the sale isn't about like pushing something down someone's throat. It's all about figuring out what does that person already want and then just giving them the thing they already want. Because honestly, the only time someone comes across as being salesy or sleazy or pushy or scammy or anything like that is when they're like cramming something down your throat that you don't want. But think about it. When are the times that you have been like laser focused, like you know what you want, you're looking for it, you're searching for it. And when somebody actually comes along and asks, asks the right questions to actually figure out what you're looking for and they go, oh, oh, that's what you're looking for. Oh, it's literally right, right over here. Here, let me show you. You're pumped to find it. Like you're excited. You're like, oh, thank God. Like that's, that's the thing I've been looking for. Thank you so much for showing it to me, right? So it's all about asking the right questions to figure it out what it is they actually want. So you can just give them what they want. But here's the even deeper level version of that. The real key to making people not only, you know, want to buy the thing that they've been looking for, but want to buy from you specifically and to trust you so much that even if they have the choice of buying from you or 20 other people, they choose you. That secret is to ask the question that they have in their mind that they're not saying out loud. If you ask that question or speak into that thing, they're going to be left going, damn, it's like they're in my head. How did they know I was thinking that? Because if you instinctively or intuitively know your audience well enough to know what it is they're thinking, and then you can actually speak to that thing, they trust that you have the answer because you had the question. Does that make sense? They're left thinking, wow, they get me. They understand me. They knew what I was thinking before they even said it, which means they're going to know how to solve my problem.